Canada is home to some of the most famous dog breeds in the world as well to some that are already extinct. In this video I will show you all the dogs originating in Canada. Number 10. Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever Shorter name for this dog is Duck Toll. They were fully developed in early of 20th century to lure and retrieve water birds. Interesting fact is that they have water repellent coat which helps them to stay warm and dry no matter what. Duck Tollers are very friendly and intelligent and they are very well trainable. Number 9. Hare Indian Dog First extinct dog breed that lived mostly around Great Bear Lake, Lake Winnipeg and Lake Superior. They were used for hunting by sight and they were very fast. This breed was probably developed by breeding the Haitian dogs with Viking dogs. They almost never barked but they were known for howling a lot. Number 8. Newfoundland Dog Newfoundland is giant dog breed with extreme power. They are well muscled all over their bodies. They are versatile and tough, which is thanks to the climate and terrain they were developed. Temperament of Newfoundland dog can be described as pretty creative, dignified, joyful and gentle. Number 7. Salish Wool Dog Second extinct dog breed and again it's a dog that was bred by Native American people. Salish wool dog lived in a region of today's British Columbia. They had very unique purpose, they were bred for their fur. Their owners didn't have access to sheep or goats so they needed fur of Salish wool dog and that's why they were so valuable for them. The end of this breed began when Europeans came to America because they brought sheep and goats with them so the Salish wool dogs were needed for their purpose. And the second reason is that Europeans killed a lot of Native Americans and their dogs died with them. Number 6. Labrador Retriever The most popular dog in the world is from Canada and they were not bred on Labrador Peninsula as the name might suggest but on the coast of Newfoundland. They were bred for retrieving the game but today they are used for so many reasons, they are just everywhere. They are used as therapy dogs, assistance dogs, search and rescue dogs and of course as great companions. Number 5. St. John's Water Dog The last extinct dog breed from Canada is St. John's Water Dog. It's an ancestor of most of today's retrievers. They are called water dogs because well they loved water and their coat was also water resistant. Unlike most of today's retrievers they had characteristics white markings on their chest. And they didn't extinct long ago. The last two known St. John's water dogs were photographed in early of 1980s. Number 4. Canadian Eskimo Dog Another very tough breed. They were bred to work by Inuit people 4000 years ago. They were mostly used as sled dogs but they also helped with hunting. This dog almost extinct in 1960s but they are making a comeback on Greenland where a lot of Inuit people renewing this breed. They have strong pack mentality and they might be challenging and aggressive. They are just not for everyone. Number 3. Sepala Siberian Sled Dog These dogs look like an arctic wolf a lot. Similar coat, similar eyes, similar ears, similar body posture. But unlike the Canadian Eskimo dog or even unlike the wolf, they are very friendly and even though they were bred to be working dogs, they love to be part of the family. And as you can probably guess from their name, they were bred mo and they were used mostly as sled dogs. Number 2. Labrador Husky The crossbreed between Labrador and Husky and another breed that resembles a wolf. It's Spitz type of a dog that was used for sledding. This is pretty old breed, it's not modern crossbreed and it can already be marked of separate breed of its own. They are not in the same category as Labrador, Scavapus and other modern designer dog breeds. Labrador Husky is pretty easy to train dogs but since they were bred exclusively as working dogs they kinda need stronger leader than for example purebred Labrador Retriever. Number 1. Land Seer Dog 
We already talked about Newfoundland dog in this video. Well, Landseer looks almost exactly the same. The difference is that Landseer has black and white coloration. Some kennel clubs are saying that Landseer is just a color variety of Newfoundland, but there are some other kennel clubs that differentiate them as separate dog breed. Landseer, just like Newfoundland, is massive dog, but they are very gentle, joyful and friendly companions. As you can see, all the Canadian breeds are very tough, versatile, working dogs. Tell me in comments which one is your favorite. And if you are new on this channel, consider subscribing and turn the notifications on. Also check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.